Around 25% of all US Canada trade happens between Detroit, Michigan and Windsor, Ontario. In 2015, that was $135 billion worth of trade. That makes the Ambassador Bridge the busiest bridge crossing in terms of trade volume in North America. In 2015, early work began on a new crossing between Windsor and Detroit, the Gordie Howe International Bridge. There are four components to the bridge project. The I-75 interchange, the US Port of Entry, the Gordie Howe International Bridge itself, and the Canadian Port of Entry. The bridge is six lanes wide, one and a half miles long, and has a clear span of 0.53 miles. When it's complete, it will be one of the top five longest bridges in North America. The Canadian Port of Entry is 130 acres in size, featuring 24 primary inspection booths, outbound inspection facilities, and toll collection facilities for both US and Canada-bound traffic. It will be the largest Canadian Port of Entry along the Canada-US border. The U.S. Port of Entry will be 148 acres in size, have 36 primary inspection booths, outbound inspection facilities, commercial exit control booths, and when it's complete, it will be one of the largest ports of entry in North America. Finally, the Michigan I-75 interchange. Work here includes local road improvements, five new pedestrian bridges, widened roads at key intersections, and four ramps connecting I-75 to the port of entry. Take a look at how the Canadian Port of Entry Early Works has formed since 2015. Surveyors on site, based in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, was hired in early 2015 to provide survey and engineering support for the Canadian Port of Entry. This work included the establishment of a precise horizontal and vertical control network for the purposes of aligning the many trades and construction activities that were to happen on site. This all started with proper survey design and field procedures which utilized one second total stations network RTK GPS receivers, and 0.2 millimeter digital leveling equipment. All field data was downloaded and adjusted using microsurvey StarNet software. Site construction activities and the abundance of earth moving equipment with an affinity for survey stakes meant that site control was continually updated throughout the project and still continues today. Surveyors on site, or SOS as they are known in the industry, have maintained a precise control point network from which all other construction activities could build from. Accurate control meant that precise layout of relocated gas mains, telephone and hydro works, newly constructed roads and volume surveys could be carried out with efficiency and reliability. Microsurvey embedded CAD was used extensively by the field crews and by the office staff and engineers to create as-built and topographic plans for design and verification. Like a cyclone was used to complete the registering and processing of 3D scan data measured using SOS's Leica P40 laser scanner. 
The ability to combine so many industry proven technologies on one project was one of the reasons why SOS could keep the early works of the new Gordie Howe International Bridge Project on track.